So in this session, we will discuss about how will we convert a galvanometer into a voltmeter. A galvanometer is an instrument which is used to measure very small current. A gal let's say a galvanometer something like this, uh, which is usually used to measure very small current, a current of the range uh, micro or milliampere. We have a dial like this. Uh, and there will be a pointer like this. Let's say this galvanometer can measure a maximum current of 10 milliampere. Here, here is the max point of the maximum mark. Here it is the uh, zero reading. This one is the pointer. Now what we have to do is we have to convert this galvanometer into a voltmeter. Voltmeter we know that it is uh, it is the device used to measure the voltage and we know there is a resistance associated with every galvanometer. Let's say this is the let's take G is equal to let's say 100 ohm. 100 ohm is the resistance of the galvanometer. Now how will we convert this galvanometer into a voltmeter? Let's say I, I just want to make this galvanometer to, uh, to a voltmeter which can measure a voltage of 10 volt. Now we have a resistance G and maximum current. Let's say the maximum current this galvanometer can read is 10 milliampere which is equal to 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere or we can write that as 10 raised to minus 2 ampere and the resistance associated with the galvanometer we know that is 100 ohm. So using the Ohm's law we know voltage, voltage across the galvanometer will be current into resistance. So here it will be we know Ig equal to 10 raised to minus 2. Ig indicates the current through the galvanometer and G is equal to 100. So this will be 1 volt. So what does this mean? This galvanometer is designed to uh, is designed to uh, allow a maximum voltage of 1 volt. So this can all, all, only take a voltage of 1 volt. See galvanometer only measures the current but this galvanometer is capable only to take a voltage of 1 volt. So I am applying a voltage of 10 volt. So the rest of the voltage that is 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9 volt. I have to give this 9 volt this excess voltage to some, some other device. Or uh, I have to, uh, I, I, I only need one voltage here, rest of the voltage that is 9 volt, I have to use it somewhere. So the best possible way is, I have to connect a resistor, let's say, a resistor of value R in series with the galvanometer, so that this 9 voltage is, 9 volt is consumed in here. So that when I apply 10 voltage, 1 voltage is used in the galvanometer, rest of the 9 voltage is used up in the resistance. So what should be the value of this resistance? See, so this system, so this system represents a voltmeter. I'll say how we can, we can use this as a voltmeter. I'll come to that point. But let's now understand 9 voltage is used in here. Since these two connections are C in series, the current through this resistance is also Ig. So we know the voltage across the resistance, let's, let's write here. Here V are equal to, you know the current Ig, again ohm, away applying Ohm's law, voltage equal to current into resistance R. We have to use, uh, we are 
getting a 9 voltage across the resistance so 9 equal to ig you know its value is 10 raised to minus 2 ampere into r so r will be 9 by 10 raised to minus 2 or this is equal to 9 into 10 raised to this minus 2 if you take to the numerator it will be 10 raised to so 2 so 900 volt so what i mean by this is if I connect a resistance of 900 ohm in series with the galvanometer, I can measure this 10 volt. Only one voltage is used across the galvanometer, but this is divided a 1 volt plus 9 volt in here. So let's write a standardized equation in here. So let we have applied voltage, we applied the voltage, you know, the law of conservation of energy, the voltage applied is equal to voltage drop across the galvanometer plus voltage drop across the series resistor. Clear. Let's take V is the applied voltage. Vg, let's write as that Vg itself plus this is equal to uh, gal galvanometer current IG since it is in series connection same current flows through both the galvanometer and resistor IG into R. So uh, taking this to the left we have V minus VG is equal to I, uh, IG into R or V minus Vg by Ig is equal to R. Now, let's simplify this. So, V minus, you know, Vg is equal to Ig uh, current through the galvanometer into galvanometer resistance Ig by Ig equal to R. Again simplifying this you will get V by Ig is equal V by Ig uh, dividing this both these terms with Ig you get V by Ig minus Ig into G divided by Ig equal to R. You can cancel these two. Therefore, the resistance R equal to V by Ig minus minus G. So the, this is the value of the resistance that I must be con that I have to connect in series with the galvanometer in order to measure, in order to make that to a gal voltmeter which can measure a voltage of V. Clear. In, in the case we took, I just want to measure 10 volt. So what I need to do is, I have to connect a resistance of 900 ohm in series with the galvanometer. Clear. Again, these two are in series, the effective resistance, let's say, uh, the net resistance of the voltmeter will be uh, sum of these two resistance in series connection we know R equal to R1 plus R2. So the net resistance of the galvanometer sorry of the voltmeter is equal to G plus R. Clear. Let me erase this. See I want to make this galvanometer into a voltmeter which can measure a, a voltage of maximum voltage of 10 volt. So, if I apply 10 volt in here, only 1 volt is use, used in the galvanometer, rest of the 9 volt is in the used in the resistor or rest of the 9 voltage is dropped in the resistor. So, what will be the galvanometer reading? Clearly, we have the needle will be 10 milliampere, we know that. Uh, so, the galvanometer measures a the pointer in the galvanometer is in the 10 milliampere mark. Now what happens when I, I give a voltage of 5 volt in here? 
so suppose there is a 5 voltage this i have already made this galvanometer to measure a maximum voltage of 10 volt now i am giving a voltage of 5 volt so before that let's uh, write the effective resistance we have the effective resistance rv is equal to 100 plus 900 which is equal to 1000 1000 volt now uh, i am applying 5 volt so that the galvanometer current ig will be you know voltage divided by effective resistance that is 1000 so that is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 or we can say 5 milliampere so when i apply 5 voltage uh, the mark in the galvanometer will be at 5 milliampere it will be here 5 milliampere and the voltage i applied is 5 volt so so in 5 volt I, the reader the pointer will be in the 5 milliampere mark clearly from these two data uh, if i uh, replace this pointer this sticker let's say with another sticker having a mark a 10 volt in here and a let's say and a 5 volt in here see instead of this 10 milliampere i can paste a 10 volt and a, this 5 milliampere i can paste a 5 volt so the so that this gap the pointer reads the voltage when 10 volt is applied it will be 10 volt here I only what thing what i have to do is i have to replace a sticker with the instead of 10 milliampere i have to put 10 volt and instead of 5 milliampere i have to paste 5 so clearly this is converted into a voltmeter